Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Want a hand with that? Not a cripple, you know. If I'd had the surgery, I wouldn't be swinging the club so soon. But with the radiation, things got back to normal really quickly. Men with prostate cancer have choices. When the cancer is very early, they can sometimes have it watched carefully. But there often comes a time when you've got to get the cancer treated. And the choices are surgery, radiation therapy, also called radiotherapy, and sometimes surgery plus radiotherapy. Well, let's start with the last one first, surgery plus radiotherapy. It can be really disappointing if you discover you need radiation therapy after you've had the surgery because the surgeon didn't get all the cancer out. It's even more disappointing if you weren't aware of this risk and could have avoided the operation altogether. Yeah, we've got this guy at work who had surgery for his prostate cancer and without knowing any option for radiotherapy. His cancer seems to have gone, but after the operation, he's had a few changes, and now I guess he regrets his decision. Yeah, well, that's why I chose radiation therapy, because the impact on home and work was minimal, and everything's back to completely normal really quickly. The things that matter to men are survival, sexual function, urinary and bowel changes, and pain. Here's how surgery and radiation therapy stack up. Surgery is more likely to leave you with long-term urinary incontinence, while radiation therapy can irritate the bladder and bowel for a while during and after treatment. You can continue working with radiation therapy, whereas with surgery, you do need to take time off for recovery. And you'll also need a catheter in the bladder after the operation in the short term. Surgery can have out-of-pocket costs depending on where you have it, whereas radiation therapy more commonly doesn't. Make sure you discuss the cost of treatment with your doctor. But I heard that if you had radiotherapy, you get radioactive and then you can't play with your grandkids. Yeah, I'd heard that. For the most common form of radiation, it's not true. It's, it's a myth. Once you leave your treatment, there's no radiation left in your body. It's like having an x-ray. Piece of cake. Radiation therapy or radiotherapy is highly targeted and spares as much normal tissue around the prostate as possible. Once the beam is turned off, that's it. You don't remain radioactive. The typical course lasts four to eight weeks with a short treatment, four or five days a week, which can be tailored to fit with your life and work. Make sure you get referred to a radiation oncologist as well as a surgeon so you have all the facts before deciding what's best for you. It's a big decision and you have time to make it.